weeks, the protesters camped outside Spokane City Hall said they wanted to see the city open more permanent housing options. Homeless advocates said with the additional warming shelter spaces uh, helping, they wanted to see more options on top of that. Mm -hmm. Well, Catholic Charities has done a lot of work in that area over the past few years. Creme 2's Amanda Rowley shares what housing options they already provide and what kind of need remains. You cannot recover your life when you're living like this. You just can't. The City of Spokane's 2018 regional point in time count found there are more than 1,200 people experiencing homelessness in the city. Catholic Charities Eastern Washington has tried to address this need in the community over quite a few years. Today, the organization has a total of about 720 apartment units available to low income families or those experiencing homelessness in Spokane. The units are typically one to two bedrooms. Their most recent projects include these apartments. Father Bachhaven Apartments opened back in 2013. The latest apartment complex, the Sisters Haven, opened this year, creating 75 new units for families and individuals. Sarah Yurden with Catholic Charities says they still know of at least 800 people who are in need of permanent housing. She says they are making progress with building two additional havens, which are permanent housing with health and social services. Those havens are expected to open in 2019, providing another 100 units of housing. Catholic Charities isn't the only organization creating housing options for those in need. This fall, Transitions built 24 permanent housing units for women and children. The project is called Hope Yard Cottages. Even the city of Spokane plans to open a new 24-7 shelter expected to open in July. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.